This is not just your average pet. And the idea that these animals should be kept as pets is highly controversial. This is Aquila, and she's a two-year-old wolf hybrid, made up of 56% gray wolf and 44% Alaskan Malamute and Husky, she is the first true hybrid I've had the pleasure of working on. Now it's important to understand that owning a wolf hybrid is not the same as owning your average pet dog. Stay there, stay there, no. Often, new owners of a hybrid will be overwhelmed by behavioral traits that are very unexpected. People need to realize that wolves are wild animals, and while mixing them with dogs may help to domesticate them, they can still have a variety of traits that can become unmanageable to the ill-prepared human. There are three main classifications for wolf dogs, low content, mid content, and high content, which refers to the amount of wolf content present in the animal. Aquila is a mid content wolf dog. Mid-content wolf dogs can exhibit significantly more challenging behaviors than a low-content wolf dog. Some concerns to consider are same-sex aggression, resource guarding, territorial tendencies, and a very pronounced fear of anything out of the ordinary. Wolves, although often perceived as an aggressive animal, are usually very timid and shy, especially of humans. The fact that Aquila is allowing me, a stranger, to provide her with her first ever groom is remarkable, and her owner should be commended for her extraordinary training and socialization of such a challenging pet. Other things to consider before getting a wolf dog would be legal considerations. Research the local laws and regulations regarding wolf dog ownership in your area. Be aware of any permits, licenses, or restrictions that might apply. Owning a wolf dog is illegal in many provinces and states, and owning one in an illegal area puts the life of the wolf dog at risk. Be aware that your average fence may not be enough to contain your wolf dog. It's important to research appropriate containment to prevent escape and escaping is something that wolf dogs excel at. They need proper socialization at a young age with people and other pets. This training and socialization should continue throughout the duration of their life. Wolf dogs are extremely social animals and they do not do well being left alone for long periods of time. Wolves generally need a pack in order to be happy. So providing them with another canine friend is not only beneficial, but oftentimes necessary. Wolf dogs also require a diet that could cost you up to $5,000 a year. While I am an advocate of the raw diet for most dogs, it's imperative that a wolf dog eats a raw diet in order to live a long and healthy life, preferably a whole prey diet. Being that wolves are pack animals, it's a natural instinct for them to guard their food and mark their territory, which means that defecating and urinating in the home is something that comes naturally to them and training them to stop marking in the house can be a long and challenging task. If after all of this information, you still want to own a wolf dog, please go to a reputable breeder. Wolf dog breeders should be open and honest about their care. They should have extensive knowledge on their needs and also screen each potential owner to ensure their puppies are in good care. Wolf dog puppies are removed from their mother at four weeks of age, and they are sent home with their new owners at six weeks. This is to give the dog the best chance to exhibit less wolf-like traits and bond with their humans. Aquila was phenomenal for pretty much everything, except for when it came to her paws. Although she allowed me to work on them for a short period of time, she eventually made her limits clear. Oh, oh God, okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good, it's okay.
Okay. Okay. You think your quicks are very long. Good girl. Wow, your nails look like they were very long, but I guess not. It's okay. Oh, oh, good girl. Nope, stay. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> Alright, good girl. No, good girl, Akila. It's okay. Good girl. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I'm not going to go into your paw pad, but I'm just going to train right here on the top, okay? Take her out of all this. What a good stand! What a good stand! Did you just fart? I think I heard you fart. There you go. Pumpkin pie today. For a wolf hybrid that has never been groomed before, this dog was exceptional. I didn't get some great shots of her in my yard because, well, someone forgot to press record. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the alluring Aquila.